Well, hello, my friends, and happy Sunday to you. It's Sean Petit. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look at this cutie we're creating. Here are the supplies that we're using today. I'm starting the project on a 12 by 12 MDF board, and I'm gessoing my, my board. Typically, I use papers for the background, but I was kind of mixing things up just a little bit today and um, had a plan for where this was gonna go and what I needed to create for this piece on how I was feeling and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm just getting the first layers down. Um, no, no plan yet as to what's happening. I just wanted to get some color down to respond to. I'm um, using my Mediterranean Duo uh, stencil and some teal Lucas paint and some purple Studio 71 paint just kind of really making a mess and getting everything um, down and getting something to respond to. <clears throat> so I pulled some pieces of paper together from my stash and Everything that I pulled out had a meaning for this piece because I was looking to create a feeling, looking to create what I needed for the day. And so each piece has a meaning for me um, that represents what I was trying to convey in the piece. And so lots of them won't show, but that's the important part of when we create. We're creating for ourselves. We're creating for what we need. And so it's important to think about the process and what you put into it. I'm just laying everything down with my Liquitex matte medium. And so now I'm just making some scribbles, again, putting down my intentions for the piece. And so I want to kind of start to integrate those into the piece. And so I'm just laying some paint over the top of them, trying not to cover them up because I still want them to be there. That's why I waited to put them down instead of putting them down first. Um, but trying not too hard not to think too hard about what I'm doing, but to just relax and enjoy the process. This is the Scribble Marks stencil. I'm using magenta, quinacridone magenta in a Lucas paint and cadmium orange in Lucas paint. Actually, the magenta is not, it's a Holbein paint. So I grabbed a ruler and just started circling the areas that were important to me, that were part of the message, that I thought were interesting, all those kinds of things that conveyed what I was trying to create for this piece. I've grabbed a smaller brush now so that I can kind of get around those circles and really um, kind of fill things in. But I didn't want to have this really super um, neat um, brush strokes all the way around it. So I just used my fingers to kind of get a real painterly feel. I wanted it to be messy and um, intuitive and real painterly and fun. I'm mixing the teal with um, gesso and some raw umber to kind of get a real good grungy uh, feel.
So I'm going to shade in my circles now just so that I can get an idea if things feel balanced. Um, doing the shading always helps me see better where the piece is going if it's missing something. So I'll shade it in now even though typically shading is kind of my last step but I really really need to see what else it needed and it helps me uh, figure out where the next step needs to be. So I felt like I needed to bring back some of that color from the background to balance the piece out and to add a little bit more interest. And so that's where I, I brought in the Quinn magenta and the orange back in with those drips. So I'm using the butterfly stencil now and I am stenciling in the main background image and then I will come back over with the mask and I used um, pages from the butterfly book notebook um, collage pack and I'll have a link to that um, but they turned out stunning so I'm using black uh, paint and then my gesso and oh my goodness they're just absolutely gorgeous Look at that. Oh, love it. Love, love, love. So I just cut them out and I put them down with my Liquitex matte medium. I printed out my quote and I will put that down as well with my Liquitex matte medium. And this piece is almost done. It's super easy, super fast. Um, I will shade around the edges and around everything else and then add a, a little bit more shading with some soft pastels just to add some depth and dimension but not too much so that's it my friends quick easy project i hope you enjoyed today's project um, if you did i hope you subscribe and like and leave me any questions if you have them and i will get back to you as soon as possible um, I hope you stick around for the conversation at the end. It's a good one. They're always so good. It's so important. Um, so uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.
Well, hello lovies. Happy Sunday. Look at this oh, color. All the things, the butterflies, the just the, mm, the these. Oh, yeah. Um, I went over everything in the uh, video. And the stencils that I use today will be on sale for the week. And so let's just kind of talk about the inspiration of this really quick. So when I approach this, when I approach any piece, um, I'm always, unless it's for a client, I'm always asking myself, what do I need? What's my soul searching for? Like what situation? What am I in? What do I need from this piece? And um, so I started doing that as I began to get ideas and things like that. And, it's just been crazy town over here in our little shop and it's and it's a good it's a good crazy but it's just um crazy and so i started searching for what i was needing and so i pulled out just you know i pulled out words the dictionary um, and everything that i pulled out was like oh i need that and i need that so like restore rest breathe <laughs> relax peace so if i'm like i need that one i need that one i need to feel grateful i need to enjoy the journey i need to believe that things are not going to be crazy all the time <laughs> it was like oh lord john um, so in that process, I was like, quiet down insides, quiet down mind, I need peace is what I need. And so we, I, you, we get to choose what we need and we get to make that reality happen. It doesn't necessarily mean that the chaos goes away. It means that our insides are at peace. And so that's where this came from. And I really honestly, when I started, I started it chaotically because that's how I was feeling. And I just put down my some of my favorite things, some of my favorite colors, and then I pulled it together, finding that peace. And so every single thing, of course, has meaning. So the letters, the postcards are this note, this letter to myself, like, shh, calm down. Um, the butterflies, when I think about peace, I think about that this kind of floating and wandering, like you have lots of time to wander. And so that's the, the butterflies in this piece. And um, just everything, the papers in the background were um, part of the butterfly books. Some music, I, I don't know if I use, I don't think I use the music. But every single thing has a meaning. And that's my process of creating what I need. I need peace. I have to kind of stop it, stop, come to the table here. And you can find your practice or your version of whatever it is that you can do to find whatever you need. Maybe you need comfort and you need to find someone to help you feel comforted. Maybe you comfort yourself by taking care of yourself. Maybe you need to find rest and you need to find people to take care of whatever you're taking care of, even for an hour or two and take a nap. Um, we get to be in charge of what we need and fulfilling that need. And um, sometimes we all can feel powerless as to what's going on around us. And um, we get to choose um, how to fill what fill that void of what we're needing. And so for me, I needed to find some peace in all of this. And when I start thinking about that, the quiet, the solitude, those kinds of things. And for me, finding gratitude. So all the chaos, there's so much good in the chaos. And as soon as I start focusing on that, on the good and all of the wonderful things that are happening within the chaos, it calms me down and it brings me peace. And then I can, I can meditate, I can do my yoga, I can pray, I can do all of those things that continue to bring me peace. And it doesn't have to be like a, a week retreat. It's a 20 minute 
here and a 30 minute there and a little escape here or whatever it is, one hour yoga class, to find and, and soothe our souls to what we need. So all of this to say, take care of yourselves. Take care of you. You know what you need and no one can give you what you need. Only you can. And you are in charge of that. So take care of you. All right, my loves. Have a wonderful, peaceful Sunday. And I hope that you get today what you need. I hope you give yourself today what you need. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.